Preparation of aldehydes and the ketones. Now we will discuss what are the different methods of preparing aldehydes and the ketones. Aldehydes and the ketones can be prepared by the ozonolysis of alkanes. A very famous reaction, ozonolysis of alkanes. So what is this ozonolysis of alkane? In, an ozon in the ozonolysis of alkanes, we first react the alkene with the ozone and after that we do the reduction. So this is, practically this is a two-step process. And in this process, you get aldehyde and a ketone, right? You get aldehyde or a ketone, or you can get both aldehydes, both ketones, it depends what type of substitution is around the carbon-carbon double bond. So the overall addition here in this reaction is that, you know, you can say if you first react with uh, you know, you react to the alkene with the ozone and then after that you do the reduction with the zinc and the you know, water. This is our reducing agent here. The overall reaction is that you can just, you know, break the carbon-carbon double bond completely. All right. You can break it and just put the two oxygen atoms there, right? You know, double bond oxygen here and double bond oxygen here. And the substitutions, you know, will determine uh, whether it is a ketone or a aldehyde. So from this side here, you can get the CH3CO CH3, so you got the ketone, and from this side you get the CH3COH, so you get the aldehyde. That means from the aldehydes and the ketones, if you further do the, if you do the uh, ozonolysis and then you do the reduction, you can get aldehydes and the you know uh, ketones, right? So basically, you know how does re this reaction occur? As I said, this is a two-step process. First, you react to this, you know, uh, when you react to the molecule alkene with the ozone, so you get actually an ozonide. And the ozonide will be like this. You know, you have a carbon-carbon double bond. You just break that car double bond. Just, you know, keep the substituent groups there. Whatever you see there. You have the two methyls here and here also methyl group. Now, in an ozonide case, you have a one oxygen like this between the two carbon atoms. And you got two oxygen atoms, you know, attached with these two. So this is what you call as an ozonide, right? This is what you call as an ozonide. And after that, when you do the reduction, right? When you do the reduction, what do you get? You get this compound, okay? And for the reduction, we use the zinc water, right? This is our reducing agent. And what happens here in this case? When you reduce the ozonide, basically the bond breaks like this one, all right? You can say this oxygen is lost as water because from the reducing agent, you get a hydrogen. And this it is this hydrogen that will you know, replace this oxygen as water. So you get a water here, so minus water, minus H2. And then you have a carbon double bond oxygen, this carbon double bond oxygen. So this you know, bond breaks here, oxygen oxygen bond breaks here, and the carbon forms a double bond here, this one forms a double bond here. So that's why you get a ketone and an aldehyde. All right, so the overall direction in the ozonolysis is that you break the double bond and put the two oxygen atoms. Let's take a few more examples in the ozonolysis of alkanes. If you got a molecule like this, you got the CH3, CH double bond, CH3 and the C2H5. If you further, you know, if you first react with the ozone, do the ozonolysis here, and after that you do the reduction here, okay? You first uh, react with the ozone, and then you do the reduction by the zinc water, okay? This is what you call as an ozonolysis. You're breaking the molecule by the addition of ozone. And what will be the products? As I said, you need to just break the double bond here, okay? Now put the oxygen atoms. The carbon has a double bond, oxygen. Now it has got a one metal and the hydrogen. So this is a CH3 and a H here. In another case, you got the CH3, this is C2H5, this will be the C double bond O. So you get a ketone here. All right, you get a ketone. This is CH3 and this is C2H5. If you have a mo if you have a symmetric molecule, symmetric alkene like this, you know you got here a carbon carbon double bond and the methyl and the methyl here. CH3 is here and the CH3 is here. And you first react with the ozone. What do you get? You get an ozonide and do the reduction by adding zinc and the water. What you will get? You break this molecule, you know, here, put a double bond oxygen, double bond oxygen. So these two Molecules are same, right? Isn't it? So that means you get two molecules of acetone. CH3, CO, and the CH3. Right? Because the substituent groups are same, so you get the same molecule. You get two molecules of acetone here. Hope you got the concept. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.